Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr., and I want to give you this one for a nightcap. 1994, Rodney Rice was the cop of the year, and here's a day in the life of Rodney Rice in 1994 uh, as cop of the year, told by me exclusively right here on Real True Street Crime on YouTube, so let me give you a nice little nightcap today. Rodney Rice was cop of the year. And he was on my trail something awful. Now, at this point, I had been in the newspaper as the number one hot crack house in the state of Michigan over there on 3875 French Road, front page news, Detroit Free Pay, for Detroit Free Pay, Detroit Free Press, and the news. Understand that? In 94. Rodney Rice was the cop of the year, and this is how I go. I was trying to get out of 3875 French Road every day by 2 o'clock because that was raid hours. And as they told you, Rodney Rice going to beat the goddamn raid van there. So I'm trying to get out of there. It's 2 o'clock. I'm scrambling around trying to get out of there, and so happened a rush of customers came. And you know a nigga's greedy, so I got to serve all these goddamn customers and get the money. Now let me explain this to you. I used to park my car anywhere but on French Road. It might be parked on Mount Clair. It might be parked on St. Clair. It would be parked anywhere. Lee May. And this particular day I had it parked on Lee May. I didn't got the bag together because I'm going around to Pat's house on Cadillac. Because that's where I was going after 2 o'clock. All the customers knew to come around on Cadillac and Forest, Pat's house. So I'm loading up to get to Pat's house. I'm rushing like a motherfucker. And this rush of customers come up. And a nigga can't turn down three, four hundred dollars right quick on the way on the way out the door. So I'm on my way out the door. And all these customers come. So I take the time to serve the customer now. Boom! I done grab the bag, cutting through the lots. I'm on my way to Pat's house. When I get to Lee May, Rodney Rice is sitting directly behind my car. I got the bag in my motherfucking pocket. I got a $1,000 sack of motherfucking $10 blows, and I got another $1,000 sack of $5 nickel stones. And both of them in my pocket, and I'm looking Rodney Rice right in the face, and he's parked directly behind my car. And I walk on towards the car. He said, what's going on, Mr. Jackson? He jump out the car. Get your hands on the car, nigga. You know what time it is. Search me. He find the dope. He find $1,000 worth of dimes. He find $1,000 worth of nickels. He put me in the handcuffs, and he throw me in the car. He said, come on, nigga. You're going to jail. Now I'm in handcuffs in the back of Rodney Rice's car. He didn't call me coming to my car, leaving to go to Cadillac to start over again because 2 o'clock in the raid hours is out and Rodney Rice didn't beat me. So now he didn't call me. I'm in the back of his squad car. And the first place he went, he said, boom, took me in there, I'm cuffed. He went to Garland and motherfucking Mac. He was looking for this one particular person by the name of Devious. So I'm looking for this motherfucking Devious. Because I got something for him because he's a smart-ass, smart-talking motherfucker. And I'm going to teach him something about running his motherfucking mouth to me. So now he's on Garland. I'm in handcuffs. He riding up and down Garland, all around, down Garland, then back around Bewick. He's circling around looking for Devious. He trying to find Devious now. He circled for about 30 minutes and said, fuck it, let's go. Now here's something y'all got to know. A police officer can go anywhere in any precinct. At this time, Rodney Rice was working out of the 10th precinct. That's where he was stationed at. But I'm on the east side of Detroit, French Road and Mac, and he over there in the raid and caught me. Not raided, caught me going to my car. So now he on his way back over here to the 10th precinct. It's this building over there he been casing. It's right down from the 10th precinct. On the left-hand side, it was an apartment building. Kind of back off, and they was banging. He pulled up. He said, uh, I'm finna go in here and close these motherfuckers down. When he first pulled up, 
It was two mother, a lady and a man out in the car getting high. He caught them. Boom. Motherfucker, whoa. Who in there selling? Is any dope in there? And you know, when the motherfucker be scared, he didn't call both of them smoking crack and they got rocks. Nigga, tell me who in there and who's selling. Is some dope in there and you better not lie to me. That nigga said, yeah, so-and-so in there selling. And then he pulled off. And Rodney Rice circled the block like he was pulling off behind him. But what Rodney Rice did was circle and park out of their vision.